In this play along video, we'll be playing my map called A Learning World, which contains a bunch of different tips from all around the world, and I'll be explaining them as we go. Quickly before we start, don't forget to press that like button, it really supports the channel and lets me know that you enjoy these videos. Thank you very much, and here we go. If you want to play along, the links will be in the description, just make sure to play it before watching this video so I don't spoil anything, and you can play it for free, you don't need to have a GeoGuessr Pro account or anything. Here we go, what do we have here? We have this kind of small car visible this is a meta tip not all of these tips will be meta uh, related i know some people really don't like meta tips but this one is a meta one so we have these kind of google google car almost all is blurred we're gonna the circular blur but a little bit of google car is coming out there these corners you get this google car in uh, uganda uganda in national parks uganda national parks are difficult to tell apart I think this might be one of these ones on the left side here. Let's maybe go around he this area. Okay, it was, was more south. It was this one, National Park. But yeah, most of these tips will be kind of country-based. They will help you get the country, not necessarily the area. Some of these tips will be also area-based. Here we have these long, long yellow lines. Very long yellow lines who are very close to each other. You can see that in Norway. Also, these yellow yellow signs with black kind of arrows here, you can also find them in Norway. And of course, the beautiful landscapes with mountains all around, also very Norwegian. Here we have road 800. And also the trees here, not very big, very small trees. I believe road 800 was somewhere very north, wasn't it? Let's have a look. I might be misremembering something. 80s. 80s are up here. 83. 800 might be somewhere near 80s, because it starts with an 8. Yeah, 90s are all the way up here, so I think 8s. 8s might be somewhere here. If we had more time, maybe we could try to find these cities. It was kind of in this area, okay? Here we have Generation 4 camera with an antenna. You can get that in a couple of countries. Some of them being like Bulgaria, Hungary, maybe. It looks like in the distance we have these kind of holy poles with these holes in the distance. You can get holy poles in a couple of countries, for example, Poland, Hungary, Romania. And also, I think you can get this car in Romania. I don't think you can get it in Poland. Let's have a look. What else do we see here? Not much. We don't see any of these signs. But because of this car and that holy pole in the distance in particular, I would go with Hungary here. So let's guess Hungary and see if that is right. It is right indeed. Next round, what do we get? So what we have here is Australia. We have these bollards that you see in Australia. These white, white bollards with this small red reflector on them. Those are typical Australian bollards. Also, Generation 2 camera with this circle around us and in the sky as well. But the tip here that you might not know about is the overcast meta, as we call it. If you see these very cloudy skies in Australia in particular, that is a good clue that you might be somewhere in Victoria, the state of Victoria, kind of southern part of it, west or east of Melbourne. Uh, I, would, I would maybe guess kind of west of Melbourne here. We'll see if that's right or not. Okay, it was kind of in the right area. So if you see these kind of cloudy skies, Good chance you might be there. Not guaranteed, of course. We have these stop signs, which appear to be Spanish. These look like a Spanish stop signs. Also, we had waffle poles. We call these waffle poles because because they are not fully with holes. They're not holy poles. Holy poles, you can see through them. Waffle poles have these kind of kind of closed gaps. This is also a Spanish sign with no white borders around. And this is also a Spanish, uh, like a down, down sign. Here we have also some signs, uh, CM, CM roads, I do not remember if CM roads were something special or not, they appear to be very small, since this number is very, very big, I don't think we have a good chance to find that, but we know the country for sure, we know the country for sure here, so let's guess kind of maybe in the middle-ish, was a little bit more southeast, let's view in total, in total, a pretty good score, I would say almost 23,000. Let's go for another game and see what tips do we get this time. What we get here is that I can see some European style plates with the blue on the left side and some yellow plates as well with some blue on the left side. 
which makes me think this might be France. In France you can get both uh, white plates and a bunch of yellow plates as well, which are like older ones. Looking here at these signs, yep, it does look like it, the language is French. And we have Generation 2 camera with this wide circular blur around us, both uh, on the ground and in the sky. With all of these steps, I am thinking this might be kind of uh, maybe coarse. Generally, older cars will have these yellow plates, and since we have so many of them, I am thinking it might be coarse. Let's have a look. It was. Okay, wrong city, but, but general thought process was right. Next, what we have here, these houses with, with very pointy, kind of, these pointy tips on the roofs, very pointy. You get these houses in particular in Wester, West Sumatra. Also, of course, we get, get an Indonesian flag. There are a bunch of country clues, a bunch of flags. Uh, we get some yellow plates, some black plates with three white sections. The, these are Indonesian plates with uh, black plates with three white sections here. In Malaysia, they get two, two white sections. But the biggest clue here, yeah, this particular roof, you get these roofs quite often in West Sumatra in particular. So let's guess somewhere there-ish. Let's go. Next location here, what we have. Zooming on the language. Language feels Italian. Autorizzati. So it looks very Italian, right? Again, generation 2 camera. If, if you play with meta. If you don't, you can just ignore these meta tips. Just focus on the non-meta ones. These bollards. These bollards you get in both Italy and San Marino. Telling Italy and San Marino part can be tricky. Uh, when you look at the license plates, these do not seem like the usual Italian license plates, because in Italy, most of the license plates will have blue on, the bo on both sides. Here, these license plates do not have blue on both sides. And also, this one in the distance doesn't. So I'm starting to think, when we see a couple of those license plates, it might not be Italy, it might be San Marino. Also, San Marino will be mountainous. Italy can be mountainous too, but if it wouldn't be mountainous, then we wouldn't even consider San Marino, basically. Since it's mountainous, since these plates don't have blue strips, that's why I am thinking San Marino here, basically. And Generation 2 as well. San Marino will have Generation 2 camera. Let's make a guess. And it is San Marino. Let's go. Round number four. Okay, well, this is an easy one. <laughs> this is an easy one just to check if you, if you recognize the city names. We have Krakow, Wroclaw, Katowice. Well, those are big Polish cities. Also, this bollard, Polish bollard, good to know as well. I'm a big bollard fan because in rural locations, they often come in handy when there are no signs, nothing else. Oftentimes, there will be some bollards, so you can really use them if you, if you, if you know them. Krakow, Wroclaw, Katowice, they are generally more kind of southern, yeah. S7, S8 is, is, S8 is here, S7 is here. Maybe we are somewhere here where the S7 and S8 meet somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere in that area. Ooh, this is an interesting car. This is a very interesting car. Again, very meta, meta heavy location. You get this Google car in Kenya. This is a Kenyan Google car. You don't get it often. You get it in like a national park. I don't remember which national park, unfortunately. It was a national park. <laughs> but which one was it? Let's have a look. Which one was it? It was, uh, it was here. It was this one. But I did remember it was Kenya, at least. Let's have a look. In total, 23.8 thousand points. Not too bad. And let's go for another game. Since these games are quicker than, than the usual ones, let's go for another one. Uh, when we have here Generation 4 camera driving on the right side, we have this solid yellow line in the middle. You, you can get solid yellow lines in both countries, but I feel uh, they are a little bit more common in Canada. Also, these signs, I feel like I've seen them more commonly in Canada as well. These kind of kind of real estate for sale signs. It's kind of red, white, blue ones. Oh, we, we have this uh, blue street sign. Again, you can get blue street signs in the US, but I feel like they are a little bit more common in Canada. So just all of these small clues, none of these clues are like 100% on their own, but the more you see of them together, the more confident I would be with guessing Canada here. Not sure about the city, might be Toronto, maybe, let's go somewhere there. Okay, got the completely wrong city, but if I was playing Country Streaks, this is perfectly fine. If anyone maybe knows how I would have known it was Vancouver, let me know. 
but but that tip was purely on recognizing the country. I don't think there was anything city specific that I I know at least. Here we are driving the left side with these wide plates. Immediately thinking uh, Ireland, right? Also in Europe, only in Ireland you will get these rectangular yellow signs. You usually get these style of signs in American countries, but uh, in Europe. Only Ireland will get these these uh, rectangular yellow signs. And of course, we see English around as well. So that's, that's a clue in itself too. So I would go Ireland here. Okay, it was a little bit more north. Next location here, first thing that I notice is all of these small blurs. I have talked about this before, but in Lithuania, you will often get these kind of small blurs all around. You can see like here, 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 here. All over the place are these small tiny blurs that you notice. So that in itself is a good clue that this would be Lithuania. Because everything, the most random things are blurred. In Lithuania, you do get three stripes. So that kind of verifies it might be. There are many other countries where you get three stripes on pedestrian crossing signs. Lithuania is one of them. So let's guess somewhere. This time it was Klaipada. Fourth location. Here we have... Let's zoom in the distance. We see this license plate. This license plate with kind of a black dot in the middle is a Argentinian. Argentinian license plate. You will see that in Argentina. Also, these are trash baskets you see in uh, Southern America. Quite common if you see some trash baskets, you won't see them in Europe. So that kind of gives the continent away immediately. Yeah, I think the biggest clues here is the black Google car if you use Meta. If you don't, then the, the license plate. The license plate is the Argentinian one. That one pays to know. And the last round here, first of all, language. Language, language, language. This is a Khmer language, I believe, that they use in Cambodia with very squiggly, similar to Thai, but more squiggly, if, the, if, if that makes sense. Also in Thailand, we would be driving on the left side. Here we are driving on the right side. This Google car with kind of kind of these, these stripes visible, this tiny, tiny antenna. You can also see that in Cambodia. Also in Cambodia, you will sometimes see these waffle poles, kind of similar to the ones we had in Spain before. And also in Cambodia, sometimes you'll see Cambodia beer. Well, it kind of gives it away since it's called Cambodia. Sometimes you will get Angkor beer. Kind of like Angkor Wat, the famous place. Laos will be also driving on the right side, but the plates in Laos will be yellow. So that, that's how you can tell Laos from Cambodia apart. Let's go somewhere here-ish. Okay, it was ju just the capital. The summary, the summary was not the greatest, because we had some big countries where I didn't make the closest of guesses. But as mentioned before, many of these tips are country-based that will help you to recognize the country and then... You can go on from there. In the description, I'll leave some extra challenge links for you to practice in case you don't have a pro account. And I'll also leave a link to my GeoGuessr tips playlist where I share even more and more useful tips for GeoGuessr. On the right side, you will find another play along video where I share some useful tips. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you in the next video.